very good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome on this new video on Remnant from the Ashes. I wanted to make a build for Nightmare Mode using the Hunter armor set and I came up with this. Let's go! Alright, as I said I wanted to use the Hunter armor set as a viable option in Nightmare Mode. Now that's been buffed gives you 25% more damage with all three pieces on by eating enemies 15 meters away. It has not the weak spots requirements anymore. So if you are further than 50 meters away, your range damage is going to be 25% more effective against enemies. For the weapons, we have the Particle Accelerator on the long arm slot. This thing is a beast, has a very high damage, high reload speed, decent fire rate, and the weapon mod with Gravity Core is excellent for crowd controlling. I decided to use this instead of the Sniper Rifle because despite the Sniper Rifle having more damage, it has only one round, and if you don't miss with that single round, you're most likely gonna one-shot all of the smaller enemies. But in some situations, if you miss the shot, if they are too close, the Particle Accelerator as 5 bullets is much more viable. For the end gun, I use either the Hunting Pistol or the SMG. I prefer the SMG because it has many rounds and a quicker fire rate, but the Hunting Pistol is capable of staggering the enemies even on Nightmare Mode. So I usually swap them depending on the situation. The mod that I use in the end gun slot is the Song of Swords. And this is a flat 22.5% for me because my weapons are not fully upgraded but it's gonna be 30% at the maximum. For the melee weapon slot I use the Guardian Axe just because it looks cool but you could use like anything really. For our trinkets we have Gunslinger Charm of course to improve fire rate by 10% and reload speed by 20%. With this particle accelerator reload speed is just straight up insane, it's very very quick. Same for the hunting pistol, it helps a lot. For the rings instead I swap them depending if I'm indoors or outdoors. So if I'm outside in the open world in the map I use Earthseeker and Hunter's Band. The Hunter's Band has the exact same effect as the Hunter armor set before patch. It does increase your weak spot damage when hitting targets weak spots from more than 15 meters away. Heartseeker is actually quite strong, provides 100% crit chance against non-aggressive enemies, so if you snipe them from afar, you're gonna score a crit every single time, and does increase crit damage by 15%. That 15% is active all the time. It does not require for you to be stealthy, even if your enemies are aware of you, that 15% will stay. Now inside dungeons I usually swap the Hunter's Band for the Stone of Balance. The difference is only 15% when eating weak spots, so it's up to you. I guess you could keep the Stone of Balance regardless and forget the Hunter's Band, but because I wanted to focus solely on range play, that was my choice, but again, you could you could keep Stone of Balance at all times. Earthseeker, you could swap this for the Braided Thorns. Inside dungeons works quite well because there's a lot of enemies and you have 50% more chance to crit, but I do prefer to keep Earthseeker most of the times, even inside, because like even when you're inside dungeons, you would be surprised how many enemies are actually not really aware of your presence until you shoot. And with that on, you will one-shot all the smaller enemies and you can deal some very, very high damage to some of the elites that spawns inside the dungeons. Regarding traits, skipping over Vigor and Endurance, of course, they need to be maxed out or close to that at the very least to give you more survivability in Nightmare Mode. Having Spirit at 20 is very important in order to charge your Gravity Core really quickly and being able to do more crowd control. Mother's Blessing and Keeper's Blessing are very important for survivability as well. Shadow Walker works perfectly in conjunction with Art Seeker and it's gonna help you a lot to get that 100% chance when enemies are not aware of you. Quick Hands for faster reload speed. And then of course Mind's Eye for range damage bonus 25%, Executioner critical hit chance bonus 20%, Kingslayer critical hit damage 50%. These are very important. I do not have Exploiter yet on this character, but I think I should be very close to unlock it. Anyway, if you have it, then of course that one's gonna be maxed out as well. The best way to play it is of course stay far away from your enemies, pick your targets from afar, headshots all the time, the particle accelerator scope is gonna be very helpful in that. And if they get too close, Hunting Pistol is gonna deal massive damage 
or you can crowd control very easily with the SMG. Plus, if there are too many enemies or strong elites that you want to keep at distance, you can just shoot your gravity core with the particle accelerator and that will do the job. Of course, never forget to always take advantage from the Song of Swords. So every time it's charged, just use it. It's a flat increase in your damage, so why not? And that's pretty much it! Thank you very much for watching the video, if you did, leave a like down below if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Remnant from the Ashes videos because I post a short video on how to get awesome stuff almost every day. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, can't out!